What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Welcome to another peg hunting video where we just pulled up to Walmart Supercenter. I love this Walmart. This Walmart always has the coolest stuff. They restock quite often. So I'm super excited to go inside and see what kind of new stuff can we find. There's a couple of new sets that I'm looking to get. Um, maybe if I find another Bugatti, I would love to have an extra one of those as well. You never know. Let's go head on inside and see what we can find. And here we are entering the aisle and we'll pull right up to the main lines first. Let's see what we have here. And it looks like these ones are kind of mid-2019 ones. It looks like they've been picked through. We'll move on to Mystery Model 3s. I've got that complete set. We've got a Hot Wheels 9-pack, a couple different variations of this 9-pack. Let's see what we can find in here. The Porsche. We've got the Datsun. And there's the gold Corvette, the NSX, some pretty nice ones in there. We've got the 20-pack. We've got a couple of different set variations, lots of new sets always coming out. Let's see what we have here for five packs. We've got the one with the Datsun, and we've got some color shifters. I like the color shifters. They're kind of interesting. Sometimes you can find some cool ones. Let's see what we can get within these color shifters. What do we have back here? Uh, oh, what is this up top right here? We've got... A Batman one. Oh, that is cool. I have not seen this Batmobile before. Kind of changes color. We'll, we'll put that aside. We might pick that up. We'll take a look here. What else do we have here? We've got the Off-Road Rally set, which I've already got. And there's a really good set, though. Lots of good six cars in this set. So if you haven't picked this set up, definitely you can still find it. And let's see what else we can find in here. We've got the Larry Wood set right beside here as well. And let's see what we've got down here. We've got a couple of different Larry Wood cars. Uh, these ones are really cool. I have uh, tried to get the complete set of this, and I usually can't find it, but we'll have a look through. I love that Mustang. Look at that. The stance on that Mustang is really cool. Uh, we'll put that aside here for a second. Ooh, look at this one. Wow, that is cool. Almost looks Zamac edition but it's not really, and what else do we have? This one is really cool. This is like that high speed variation one that they did. Um, what else do we have over here? Oh, this one, the gold bone shaker. Yeah, this is the one I was actually looking for. I was gonna buy this on eBay, and oh, okay, I'm glad I found it in the store. I'll probably have to pick that one. We'll see, we'll put it down there for a second. We've got some of the monster trucks, the Hot Wheels monster trucks, no longer called Monster Jam. And we've got a couple different set variations down here. We've got the character cars, and this is Series 4. I'm still waiting for Series 5 to come out. Uh, I've got all the uh, Series 1 to 4 already, and I'm going to do a big video on those. Let's go down to Matchbox and see what we can find here for Matchbox. I love that Gallardo. And this overall is a pretty good set. We've got the Jaguar. Look at that F-150. That is so cool. We got a Golf Edition Volkswagen Beetle in this one as well. What else do we have? Wow, that one's pretty cool. I might have to pick that one up as well. We'll see. And check this out. The Matchbox 50 is super fast. This is the Porsche from this, the 911. Great detail on these cars. I've collected the first four of those, but I mean, they're okay. I don't know if I'll pick them up. We'll see. We'll see what else we can find. Looks like we've got some more opening parts ones. Let's see here. We've got, uh, ooh, this one's really cool. Nissan Xterra with the rear hatch that opens up. That one's pretty neat. I like that. And what else do we have back here? There's another one, the Porsches, the Camaro. And let's go on and see what else. Ooh, this is like the Speed Racer one. That one's really cool. I don't know if anything opens on that, but it looks pretty neat. Put that back for a second there and let's see. Fast and Furious. Ooh, oh, this is the off-road Fast and Furious set. Yes, I've been looking for this set. Wow, this one's really cool. We've got, what, a total of five different vehicles from this. Let's go ahead and see if we can hopefully find it here. There's the Hummer H1. Now let's go ahead and see what else we can find. And this looks like the Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop. I really like this one, like such a stealth look on there. We've got the Subaru WRX STI. The livery on this one is so cool. And this is that Camaro, the off-road Camaro. Wow, that is neat. And the G-Wagon is the only one left, I think. Oh, here it is. There we go, the G-Wagon. Oh my gosh, this one is so cool. 91 Mercedes-Benz G-Class. And that is all five of them. So we did find the full set. We'll probably have to pick that whole set up, definitely. Let's go on and see what else we have down the aisle. Here we got some NASCAR stuff. I, I hear a lot of people 
asking me about NASCAR stuff. So you know what? Here we go. Here we go. Let's let's take a look at some NASCAR stuff for you guys here. I don't really buy a lot of NASCAR stuff, but there's always some really cool looking ones. The livery on NASCARs looks really, really neat. So if you guys are recognizing these NASCARs, let me know. We got the Coca-Cola M2 trucks, a few empty pegs here. What is this? This is really cool. We've got the Cobra Mustang Shelby. Oh no, it's not a Cobra. It's just a Mustang Shelby, but that one looks really cool. Look at the moving parts and stuff that you can put onto it. We've got, what is this one right here? A Volkswagen behind here, a Volkswagen bus. You can put different wheels and stuff on there. That's pretty neat. That'd be fun to play around with. Let's see what else do we got down here. Monster Jam stuff. We've got, let's see what else we have here. More Monster Jam stuff. You can see the, the official Monster Jam stuff is actually cheaper than the Hot Wheels variation. It's kind of interesting. And let's see what else we have down these aisles here. Lots of Cars 2, Cars 3 stuff. Always different variations and stuff of those cars, which is pretty neat. But yeah, let's see up top. Sometimes we can find some really cool stuff up top, so make sure you always look up top, but otherwise I'm pretty happy. I mean, the shelves are pretty stocked. The mainline Hot Wheels were lacking a little bit, but let's see what, what else. Oh, ooh, let's actually have a quick look down here first. What else do we have? Dom's Charger RT. We got this brand new Mustang GT. That one's really neat. Sometimes I get some of these ones. El Camino. Oh, I'm dropping cars here. We'll, we'll fix that in a second. There's the El Camino. That one's really, what is this? Oh yes, is this the Hellcat? It is a Hellcat, yellow Hellcat, wow. That is awesome. Oh, sometimes I'm so tempted to buy these, but I, I just don't have room to store them right now. We'll put them back there. There's a nice Supra, and is that the like? Yeah, that's the Lycan Hypersport right here. We'll grab that Lycan Hypersport. That one's pretty neat. Wow, this, this Mustang though, the Mustang, the Hellcat, the Lycan, even the Supra, there's so many good ones of these. I mean, I wish I could buy them all, but we'll, we'll pass on them for now. And otherwise though, pretty good, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this peg hunt, guys, but I think we should just head back to the car and I'll tell you guys what I bought. All right, P-Timers, we are back inside of the car and I'm pretty excited on the stuff that I picked up. You guys saw it in the video, but let me show you what I actually bought. So first things first, the Golden Bone Shaker from the Larry Wood set. I didn't buy the complete set of this because they didn't have the complete set. I looked through and they were missing uh, a couple of different numbers that were missing. But the Golden Bone Shaker I think is just super cool and I thought I'd add it to my Bone Shaker collection and then maybe eventually once I find the complete set of this I will just buy them all at once. But until then we've got the Golden Bone Shaker and that one was at a cost of two dollars and 14 cents so nah, it's a little bit more than the main lines that i wanted to spend but that's okay next up we have the fast and furious set that's right i bought the complete fast and furious set the off-road variation of it i was super excited to get this i was really looking forward to finding this set so we got the 91 mercedes-benz g class and that one is number two of five then we've got the hummer h1 that one looks really really cool that's number five of five and then we have the Land Rover. The Land Rover looks super nice, super nice. The number three of five Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop. And then we got the Subaru WRX STI. That one looks so hardcore. I love that one. I love the, the livery on there. Doesn't that look awesome? There we go. And last but not least, we've got the 67 Off-Road Camaro. That thing just looks Oh man, that, I just love the off-road wheels and tires on that thing. It looks so cool. So that one's number four or five. The other one was number one or five. But we got the complete set of the Fast and Furious cars. And those ones came at a cost of $5.47. So that whole set was about $27, $28. So I spent about $30. I, I bought a couple other household items. So I'm not going to tell you my exact total. But I'm pretty excited that I got the complete set of that Fast and Furious off-road set. Plus the Golden Bone Chicker. I can't wait to go home and open those up on a future video for you guys but what do you guys think what do you guys think of today's peg hunt video if you guys want to see more peg hunting videos make sure you guys smash that thumbs up and i will catch you guys on the next one bye bye